Coming to the stage, fresh off the boat to the comedy stand-up from the third world country, living there for 25 years. Put your hands together with Mr. Three Bones, Tony Astro. Have you guys known any Filipino Asian comedy that's really famous that you understand? That's really famous right now? That's what I thought. Because we're not funny! Look at my bug eyes. Looks like I'm scaring you. And my Chinese friends there, Eric, looks like I'm questioning you. Yeah, I came from a third world country. Actually, I lived there for 40 years, not 25 years. I came from Oxnard and Limor, California. <laughs> so, you know, you know what I mean. So, uh, and we can't be funny as comic, you know, unless we kill ourselves like Jackie Chan. You know, he's funny because I'm not ready to die yet. So, I was glad that the Navy took me to Groton, Connecticut to get away from the third world country of Oxnard. It is third world because our neighborhood is like 80% undocumented Mexican and some Asian gangster. So that's the only uh, accent that I knew until I moved to Connecticut, Groton, Connecticut. It's actually another third world full of white people, but it's third world for me. But during that time, we uh, met Janet, and all the while I thought she was Mexican. Two weeks later, I discovered a new accent. She was actually has a New Jersey accent. <laughs> so she was very nice enough, you know, when we just moved there. She asked my wife, lovely wife, Myla, and she said, oh, my uncle is hurt. She was limping. And, oh, I'm so sorry to hear that your uncle is hurting. We'll pray for him, okay? Uh, is your aunt okay? No, my uncle, uncle. So she was doing all that ritual thing. Oh, I saw that at National Geographic where they're trying to drive away bad spirit for your dying uncle. You know, is he okay? Oh, and then 30 minutes later, she realized it's her ankle. Now you know why we're not funny. We need 30 minutes here on stage for a five minute joke that we only got. I can't be funny unless you give me 30 minutes here, okay? So, every conversation, I'll prove to you that we're not funny. So, when we were there, Janet was not talking to us for like two weeks. And uh, I found out that she thinks we're weird. We keep calling her him and her daughter, Nicole, him, and her husband and son, her. So I apologize to Janet. Janet, because in the Philippines, or even in China, we only use one gender pronoun. So, sir, or uh, sir, or if you are transgender, you know, if you move to the Philippines or China, we're actually very advanced, we're ahead of time. So if you're transgender, that's a gender-free nation, and you move there, right, sir? I mean, ma'am? Okay, so, so, we're ahead of time. So who's in the third world now, huh? We're more advanced than America. So here we go, trying to fit in, in Groton, Connecticut. We have our son, and I told him, why don't we homeschool our son? Because majority over there in Groton was homeschooled. They were so well behaved, unlike in California. So I said, okay, let's homeschool our son. So we did, you know, trying to teach Asian uh, culture. Son, go get the map. And he brought me an atlas. I said, son, how are we gonna clean up this mess with the map of New York? Oh, you mean mop? So here we go, we're trying to homeschool our son, but I let him get away with our in teaching him English. So we went to the zoo uh, teaching science. So son, that's a hippopotamus. <laughs> oh, you mean hippopotamus, dad, right? So here he is teaching us how all this language uh, impediment that I think I got from my dad who keeps saying Connecticut, Connecticut, dad, it's Connecticut. <laughs> And my mom keeps saying Massey's department store. Oh, you mean Macy's mom. So 
I'm glad Navy sent it back to California and enough of that homeschool and went to public school in California. Another third world country, Limor, California. Have you been there? <laughs> so here we go trying to really be a, you know, communicate in five minutes. It takes every 30 minutes for that five minute conversation. So we can't be funny at all. So that's why I changed my name to Three Bones because I don't want to associate myself in being a comedian because I can't be funny unless you give me 30 minutes, okay? <laughs> so me and my son is actually publishing a book, a translation, Three Bone English Tagalog to English American. So Three Bones, thank you very much.